Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. Today's topic is profile unequal zone. Today's question that came from a student was I have come across a modifier that I've never seen before. And the question came along with a screenshot of a feature control frame, and that feature control frame had something that looked like this. We saw profile with some value and then UZ, and then following that was brackets with a value inside those brackets. Now we can have datums or not have datums after that. It just depends on the uh, initial intent or control of that profile. But the focus of this video is going to be talking about this UZ modifier. Now this UZ modifier is directly an ISO modifier, right? So something similar in the so it's something similar in the ASME world, which we've covered in various videos and topics on our website, is the U inside a circle. That is the unequally disposed modifier. And that gets used in this location here instead of the UZ. And that is the ASME version. Uh, but the ISO version is a little bit different and it's interpreted a little bit differently. So uh, the value that you see here in the first part of the feature control frame is still the total tolerance zone size. So when we see this, we're saying this surface here that we're pointing to with this feature control frame, this surface has a tolerance zone, a total tolerance zone of 0 0.010. So the zone still is completely this size and it mimics the shape of the surface we're controlling. So flat planar surfaces, our tolerance zone is gonna be two parallel planes. When we're controlling the radial surface here, our tolerance zone is radial in nature as well, right? So it's uh, the same total zone. But what uniquely happens here is we have an unequal zone, unequally disposed uh, profile zone. Inside the brackets, we will see a value. That value is both the amount and the direction in shift of the tolerance. In other words, this 10 thousandths of a tolerance zone is shifted out in a positive direction away from true profile. Again, true profile being identified on the drawing with basic dimensions, right? The location, the profile, the size, the shape, all of those are gonna be defined by basic dimensions. And we shift this profile, this 10 thousandths profile is shifted out away from true profile by three thousandths. So we can see here that we've shifted the center of our zone outwards three thousandths of an inch. And so now essentially what we're saying is unequal bilateral tolerance of plus eight thousandths minus two thousandths. Because from the center of it was plus or minus five thousandths, but if we shift it out three, that adds three thousandths here to add to the five thousandths here. And so we have an eight thousandths total existing outside the part and a remaining two thousandths on the inside of the part. So again, it's the direction and the amount of shift that the tolerance zone sees. So another example would be something like this. If we saw negative 0 0.005, well, the negative implies to us that the tolerance zone shifts in towards the material and it shifts in five thousandths. So the center of our 10 thou tolerance zone shifted in five thousandths this is the equivalent of saying plus nothing minus 10 thousandths. Conversely, if we didn't have a negative sign here, that would shift completely out. And if there was no negative sign there, that would be the equivalent of plus 10 thousandths minus nothing. And all of our tolerance zone would exist on the outside of this part. So this is the unequally disposed modifier from the ISO world. So hopefully this helps answer your question and thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.